Right, uh, let's uh, let's wrap up this scenario. It's turn six, U.S. initiative, and <clears throat> last turn I made a mistake with one of the firing actions. Uh, I used the hero, and I half the hero's firepower. When you do a multi-unit uh, combat. I'm going to use, for instance, if I was going to use this uh, half squad and uh, this machine gun, that's three. And then I take half of uh, this unit and any other units of this type, you know, full squads, half squads, and you take half their firepower. Heroes, you take their full firepower. Okay, it's our activation. And I really think the best thing for us to do is to hang in there and wait and you'll see why. It's best for us to uh, pause and... Well, actually, you know what? We have a problem. I just realized we have a problem. If these guys can get into this hex here, that's within three. That will give them one, two, three... Actually, one, two, three. That will give them four building hexes. And I believe... The win criteria is four. Is that not correct? Do you guys remember? Let's look. To win a side must control four building hexes within three hexes of H7 at the end of the scenario. One, two, three, four, if they could get that one. One, two, three, one, two, yeah, shoot. All right, well, we do have to conduct an action, and we are going to... Low crawl to here, no freebies. That's a bummer. I screwed up. What I could do, since this guy has a zero leadership, is, is low crawl him as well. Not that that's gonna, that's not gonna help really, is it? Will it? He has no leadership value. Hmm. Better off here, I guess. All right, low crawl, done. Now these guys. All right, somebody's got to do something somewhere. What we need to do is consume all the fire here and try and bum rush this hex. So let's do that. Let's send out a peasant. You can activate this dude and he's going to go one to here. Now, by moving here, I have spotted these people, and they now have an opportunity to op fire if they wish to. Now, the tricky thing is, are they going to op fire with their hero, or are they going to op fire with their big machine gun? And I think what we're going to do is op fire with the hero, and that way uh, we'll still keep our heavy machine gun ready but unfortunately now we're not going to be a firing at uh, five next time, but three. Okay, so we're going to roll and we'll work out what the numbers are in a second. As, oh, two sixes. Okay, so look, let's just ignore the numbers because they're the same. And now we're just going to work out what the net is. So it's, it's two factors. It's two uh, uh, combat strength, firepower, attacking this guy in the open. So it's a plus two. Uh, it's going to be a... Uh, a plus two morale check. So he's got a five. And he rolls a six plus two is eight. So he's going to be shaken, but not uh, reduced. And that is now not going to make those guys spotted, except they are because these guys fired. Because you have to be good order to be spotted. But now we have this hex spotted. So now we can lay some fire down. But it's not our activation, it's their activation. So, they will, hmm, they will probably pass, because this guy's out of the game now. They will probably pass. So we'll pass, and I will fire here. This guy's wounded, dang. Um, so he's got a strength of two. Oh, I didn't set this up. Let's set this up. Just for shits and giggles, I would have set that up. 
So I think we'll activate this hex and we will, so we'll, we'll do that. Three, four, five, plus one for the leader, six. So we're firing with six into this building here. Okay, five and five again. Man, if we were playing the Argentinian module, this would be doubles and all sorts of funky things happen when doubles are rolled. <coughs> okay, five and five, so we can ignore all that stuff. I said there was three, four, five, six. It's actually five and a half, we round up, so it's six because we would halve this second guy. Okay, so six versus four versus three for that building. I think it's three, but now we better make sure since we're getting down to the nitty gritty. Where's the terrain chart? The black dot buildings are indeed... Where is a black dot building? One well, of these days these guys will actually put stuff in... What is in alphabetical order? Here we go. Stone, construction... Where is the other building type? I'm pretty sure it's... Black buildings are three. Okay. So it is three. Three for defense. And uh, we said it was, oh crap, we said it was three, four, five, six for attack. So it's a plus three check on everybody in the hex. Start with the hero, plus three check for the hero. <clears throat> Eight. Heroes never shake, but they are wounded, so he is wounded. Leader. Rolls a one, plus three, he's going to be okay. I'm going to get to use his leader modifier, but he doesn't have a leader modifier. So uh, that's not going to help the morale check on the first guy. Six. What did I say it was? Plus three. Shaken. Well, that's a poop. Right. Now, here's what happens. Here's where it gets interesting. These guys are now effectively fired. Where is a little bit here? Right. Those guys are fired. Now. Well, these guys can still, oh shoot, these guys can still fire. I left my cocktail upstairs. These guys can still fire. So they can interfere with any sort of uh, close assault that happens here. So there's a line of sight between here. Let's, let's try and draw fire with these guys uh, to absorb the fire here. And we're going to close assault this hex. So here I go. Um, uh, actually, they activated, and it's these guys' turn to activate. They pass. We're now going to activate these guys. Now I'm just bringing the whole shooting match because I want to try and close assault. Ooh, how can I do this? Can I do this and not be in range? No, I can't. So we must just go for it. Oh, wait, I can do this. Look, ha, even better. I can just go here. One. Not in the zone, not in the line of uh, sight of anybody, because he's fired and he can't fire. Two, three into the hex, three into the hex. Now we're going to do a melee. So let's do a melee. I guess you can see all that. Sorry if you can't. I guess I'm just playing, I'm having fun here. Now here's the interesting thing: the shaken dudes, they're going to be dead. Actually, we're going to wait on that. The uh, commander's not going to add any value because he has no leadership. It's just this hero versus all these fellas. We've got the MG42, that's two, three, four. So it's going to be four, two, one. Attack. All right, so I'm going to roll two dice. I roll a five on, a, on the four to one table. There's a little table that has the uh, melee results. And I'm going to guess that that is okay. Four to one, yes it is. You need a four or better. So the hero is going to die. But the hero gets to battle back or fight back. So he's just going to pick one dude and he's going to just attack this one guy. And it's going to be, actually, here's what he's going to do. He is going to attack three, four. He's going to attack th these guys at one to four. Am I allowed to do that? Because the worst odds are one to three. I don't think you can. I think you have to have at least one to three. Okay, I'm going to attack. Uh, well, no matter what happens... I'm not going to get those guys out of that hex, right? So here's what we're going to have to do. I will just, may as well just get, kill one. So it's one to, it's uh, let's do one to t one to three. And I'll, you'll see why in a second. I'm going to attack at one to three. And I also would have got to add uh, the, the die roll, uh, one to the die roll. So it's a six because of the leader, because of his leadership value. So we're going to attack at one to three and I'm going to need an 11. But because he's a hero, 
he gets uh, to shift the odds of one column in his favor, so it's a one to two, so now we only need a 10. And he rolls an eight and fails. Okay, so all those dudes die. These guys now have this X. And it's in melee. Right? So they have control of that hex for the moment. And that's the end of that phase. Now, these guys can still move, and these guys are here. What we can do, if we move something into here, that will make that a contested hex. And even though this unit, now this is a dirty, rotten, low-down trick, and I believe you can do this, I just thought of it, <laughs> I can move, uh, and I'm going to check. Let me just check before I do this. Yeah, here's the deal. Units from either side can reinforce a melee. Any unit entering a hex marked with a melee marker is considered reinforcing it, even though it's possible that no friendly units are left in the hex after the previous melee round. If a unit uh, reinforces a melee before the, the melee round is fought, then you, you conduct it immediately, yada, yada, yada. Uh, if the reinforcing units have an ambush capability, blah, blah, blah. Right, so, uh, basically, you can move a unit in there, even though it might end up being uh, eliminated in the very next melee round. And I'll show you here. Where is it? Just want to keep reading here for one second. Bear with me while we get this sort of right for you. Uh, that's withdrawal. Leaders, heroes, carry eligible and defend. Yada 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 yada. Heroes defend special rules. Where are we? Yeah, I can move this guy in. I'm going to move this guy in. Now, this is still st at the end of the turn. This is going to remain a Malay hex for the beginning of the next turn, which would be turn seven. It's only six turns long. And this guy would automatically die, and then they would have control. So what I've done is thwarted the control there. Now, we've got an opportunity to uh, conduct one last attack. So that was our move. So that chap, he was, he's under melee, so we can do that. I can uh, still try and uh, capture one more, one more hex. One, two, three, four, five. We can do this. Now they can fire. One. I want to check one more thing. Okay, so what we're going to have to do here is move through the open to try and get in here, unless we can cross one. All right, I'm going to have to go through the open and take a chance. Can the Yankees hang on? Here we go. Okay, well. I could try close assaulting them. If I don't kill them, I need to kill, I need to kill this, these guys outright. So I have to close assault them. That's the only way I can get the fourth hex. This would be a better place to attack, but I can't attack here. Oh, you can't see poop. Uh, this would be a better place to attack here because uh, it's only one unit, right, with a strength of two. So I could come down one, two, three, four, five and attack here, but he's got a line of sight to here and I'm pretty sure he's got a line of sight to here. Uh, yeah, most probably. So he could stop the attack in its tracks. And I think we're just going to go for it and actually try and do that because they'll fire at us here anyway, so we might as well take the cheap shot and go for this guy. So here we go. One, I'm not going to shoot here. I'm going to shoot here. One, two, three to here. These guys are going to fire. They fire with strength of three. Strength of three. We roll a six. This is going to be disastrous for the Germans. This is it. Game over. Unless the Germans roll like rock stars, but they've got their best leader. So, six, seven, eight, nine for the BAR. Ten because these dudes are moving. So it's a ten. Try and remember that. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to make a little number here. Ten. Now these guys, uh, they just uh, they're in the open. They get going to have to 
they roll a four, so it's going to be a plus six uh, save. So here we go, leader first, plus six. He's got to roll a one, he does, it's a seven, so he's okay. So now we get to use our, 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 our leadership bonus for these guys. Can you see? You can't see. Poop. Sorry. There we go. <clears throat> there we go. So we, we rolled, uh, I don't know, I can't tell what you saw because I can't see the camera. We fired from here to here. Uh, uh, these guys rolled a six and then they got uh, the firepower plus the movement bonus gives them a total of 10 for a net. Uh, and these guys rolled a four for the save for a net plus six on the save. This guy saved, now this guy's gonna try and save. He rolls a two, plus six is eight, minus one is a seven, that's still shaken. Oh crap, and that's the guy with the machine gun. That's not good. So now it's down to this last dude and now he's gonna roll the save. And he rolls a one, but plus six is a seven, minus one, no, what? A, no, he rolled a two. Sorry, two plus six is eight. Minus the one is a seven. Still too much. He's shaken. Game over. There it is. The leader is secure in the hex. He could continue into the hex, actually, but then he would have to fight and he would die. And he's not going to do that. So that was good. those guys are moved. And that, my friends, is a game of lock and load with the demo system. That's a cute little scenario. You are forced into action at some point. Uh, and you will, if not be shaken, you will be killed. That's a pretty cool game. All right, there you go.